Hi, lifestyle lovers. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Erica and my channel is called Is E Lifestyle and it's all about creating a good lifestyle. Today's video is going to be a luxury bed making video. I just purchased a new quilt from Pier 1. If you've been following my channel, you know Pier 1 is one of my favorite stores and I purchased a quilt. Oh my God, wait till you see it. It is so gorgeous. So I am going to be making my bed and I'm going to incorporate some of the bedding techniques that I read in the new Inspire Your Home book by Farah. I can't pronounce her last name and I don't want to chop it up, but she's the founder of the Inspire Me Home Decor Collection. So if you're interested in viewing this luxury bed making video, then keep watching. The mattress topper lifestyle lovers I purchased from Amazon a few years ago. It is still so comfortable. I don't think I could live without it. Also, the sheet set is very comfortable as well. I purchased that off Amazon and I believe it was a recommendation by the Glam Twins, but they're so soft and so comfortable. So I'll link all that information in the description bar if you're interested in purchasing. <laughs> Lifestyle lovers, I purchased the quilt in a king size. I do have a king size bed. It did not come in a California king. Otherwise, I would have purchased it in a California king size in order to have more room to hang down on the sides of the bed. <laughs> If you notice lifestyle lovers, I'm having an issue with getting both sides of the bed even with the quilt. That's why it's always best to go a size up. That's why I stated if they had a California King, I would have ordered that. If you have a Queen, you might want to go up to a King. You know, it won't hurt anything to have your quilt or your comforter fit a little bit bigger. I also purchased two shams along with the quilt. These are 26 by 26 inch shams. And you always want to go up a size on your pillows. So the pillows are actually 28 by 28. And once I inserted the pillows inside the shams, I actually could have done a 30 by 30. But they look really full and they fit real good. Moving on to my comforter lifestyle lovers, I'm going to place it at the end of the bed and I'm going to attempt to do, I believe it's called a triple fold, but I'll show you how it is displayed in the Inspire Your Home book. This is so funny lifestyle lovers, but if I had to compare this to anything trying to do this triple fold, 
do you remember back when we were kids in school and we would take a piece of notebook paper and we will fold it and then we will flip it over and fold it the other way flip it over fold it the other way to make kind of like a fan this is what I would compare that to trying to do the triple fold on a comforter except it's less easier because it's soft it's not a piece of paper Okay, lifestyle lovers, check out my triple fold. It's looking a little less than perfect. So I may have to work on it a little bit or possibly switch the quilt, the quilt and the comforter. Because it may be easier to do it with the quilt. But this is the Inspire Your Home book. And I'm just going to show you some pictures in the book of the look that I'm pretty much trying to master and trying to go for. So here are some bed styling pictures in the Inspire Your Home book. So I was basically trying to um, mimic those pictures, but it looks like I'm going to have to work on it a little bit longer. Okay, lifestyle lovers, I'm going to go ahead and add all of the pillows back to the bed. Stick around for the finished look. <laughs> Okay, lifestyle lovers, here is the completed look. Although I did not master the triple fold, I still think it looks pretty good. If you see that middle space, I am going to need another sham, so I will be ordering one from Pier 1. And I think I'm going to add some smoke gray to the pillow scheme because it looks like a ton of purple. So... Thank you for coming back for another video, Lifestyle Lovers. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll be sure to catch you on the next video. Have a great day.